Hey, what time's the party again? It's tomorrow night, okay? At 9 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. Yeah, because okay. you're always late to everything, so try not to be late this time. First off, I'm never late. Sometimes. That was one time. Uh, I'll be there, I promise. Yeah, yeah, okay, because you're on time is different from everybody else's. Why is everyone picking on time? This is ridiculous. I promise I'll be there. Wait, because first of all, because well, when I went to get it, you didn't even come with me. So, really you know what? Whatever. I'm saying. I'm That's right, my favorite thing I'm to go yeah, you eat at a party is some day. You didn't have that. We are trying to do, like, um, okay, y'all want to hang up, but like, all right, I'll bring the chicken feet anyway, so. What? Is it time just an illusion? Everybody knows this already, and it's a man-made construct. It goes back to a thousand years. Do your research. Ancient Sumerians actually created 60 second minutes and the 60 minute hour. The Sumerians mainly used sexagon structure that was based around grouping of 60. This easily divided number system was later adopted by the ancient Babylonians, who used it to create months and the year. Oh, you may be wondering what they use to keep track of all of this. They use a device called a Sumerian start chart. Years after the Sumerians and the Egyptians, in addition to their lunar calendar, they developed a 365 day calendar, which was appropriated by the Greeks and Middle Age astronomers. Copernicus among them, see the difference? Another item that they used to track to manage the time was the sundial. The sundial was an instrument showing the time by the shadow of a pointer cast by the sun on the plate and marked with the hours of the day. You could say that this was the world's first clock. With this combination of people, they created something that's literally going to last forever. And I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. Isn't it crazy that it's 6 p.m. here and 10 a.m. in Australia? Oh shoot, I'm late for the party. You may be thinking right now, hmm, why? and how this is possible. Well, here's why. The Earth pretty much spins on an imaginary line called the axis and which makes complete rotation in 24 hours, which is called a day. Depending on your location, the sun rises and it sets in a certain location. If we had only one time zone, it would be night, morning, noon, all over the world. This is why different parts of the world go into the day and night at different times. And this is why we need different time zones. The Earth is separated into more than 24 time zones, which is why when you go to a different part of the country or even a globe, it takes time for your body to adjust to it. What twister? Dude, the party's over. What? You're like five hours too late. <laughs> You're always late. But when I left my crib, I was on time. What? Yo, time is a funny thing. <laughs>